Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplays where I play games stylishly. Today, I'm breaking through with another video. Today, I'm going to be pointing out the differences between the God of War 3 demo and the final game. There are some pretty interesting changes that happened to the final game. Some really good, some others I'm still crying for asking why did you guys even remove these. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's start the video and you'll see. This is a running series on my channel where I point out the differences in all the God of Wars and their trailers. And in today's case, we have a whole demo of God God of War 3 to go through, baby! Let's not waste your time, let's start this. Okay, so starting off, of course, this is a demo. The main menus are night and day, although some stuff were already there in the demo, Kratos looking around and stuff. All in all, a really good main menu. Starting the demo starts us here in the city of Olympia, my favorite session in God of War 3, and not the start of God of War 3. They knew what they were doing because City of Olympia is one hell of a banger. They still haven't thought about bringing the Blades of Exile in here, so it's still the Blades of Athena. In this zoom in, we see enemies that take out these civilians. The final game removed them, which... why? The zoom in is pointless in the final product. There's no one there. Now we start with the combat. The amazing combat. Now you guys are noticing the Blades of Athena have a lot of mixed moves. New ground Tartarus Rage, but the air one is the same. New Cyclone of Chaos. New Press and Hold Square. <laughs> new triangle attacks, and of course my favorite move in the history of gaming, the Hyperion Ram. All these moves got carried on to the Blaze of Exile in the final product of the game, but that's not it. They refined most of the moves, like for example look at the holding square option. In the demo it's extremely slow when compared to the full game. Like look at the holding square until launch in the demo, and then look at it in the final product. Such a nice change. The rest is the Air Tartarus Rage which the final game gave us a new one, I love it way more than the old Tartarus Rage even though the old one is phenomenal. Now, one other thing that changed and is very important, and that thing is hit stun or whatever they call it. You know where you hit the enemy and the weapon slows down, kind of sticks to the enemy's body and shit? That got completely removed in God of War 3 and honestly, thank you. I know it gives the feeling of hey, I'm hitting 15 enemies at once, but good thing they removed it. I think also partially it was because of the limited memory of this demo, otherwise I'm sure they could have had it in here as well. Because the final game had that smoothness to it. A Cyclone of Chaos took years to finish when facing 10 enemies before in God of War 2. In the final product of God of War 3, it took a second. Awesome. Next, of course, we have the fire effects after the plumes and stuff. It's somewhat changed, and I like the change. Thank you. Although the demo is a huge jump compared to God of War 2, but the final game finalizes if you kind of catch my meaning. Now next we have the HUD, the amazing health bars of the old God of Wars and honestly I really like it in here. It's so unique and it sometimes flashes and it looks so good, oh my god. In the final game they changed the color scheme and I think they changed the spark that runs through the blade as well. Like All in all both versions are really good and of course the final game they gave the actual meter some style and gore and shit. I love it so much. Next we have the background, the full view of the city of Olympia in the distance. And god the changes that happened here. I mean, I know mine is the remastered version, but even the PS3 version refined those heavily stained edges. For the good of the game, of course. Anyways, we proceed in the demo and there's no guy climbing this place or anything. In the final game, we talk to guy here, but we skip that in the demo and we start an encounter here. The encounter is different, the gate does not require souls to collect and the enemies are all different from what we got from the final game. Moving on, introducing the Nemean Cestus, of course they would showcase this awesome weapon and not the Claws of Hades because the final product, at this point of the game, we only acquired the Claws of Hades. In here they wanted to showcase the Cestus and honestly it has some pretty interesting stuff to it. Like for example this moving camo on it, not sure if this was in the final product but just wanted to point it out here. And then comes in the moves and honestly again some stuff got removed for no reason at all like you have this magnificent rush that kratos does so after vaining you press triangle and kratos sprints and from here you have two options square to send the enemy flying 200 miles an hour or triple square to do the usual three hit combo with the cestus you have triangle that launches the enemy and bro why did they remove all this it 
it's much better than the final version's evade attack. This one gave us options and Kratos sprinting and you, you could, you know, extend, extend your dash and stuff. Why did they remove this? And then the other move that got removed was the L1 and X move. And I honestly am thankful this got removed because I will trade quick swap for nothing, sir. In the final game, pressing L1 and X with the Cessus switches to the next weapon's attacks, which is much better. That happens with all the weapons. That goes for all the weapons, not just the Neiman Cestus. So that was a good change, but I'm still bummed out. And oh man, I'm gonna touch on this in, later on in the video. I really hate how they removed that evade attack with the Cestus. Next up, the final game added the option to hold square in the air with the Cestus and Kratos butt fucks the enemy. Thank you, full game. The demo did not have that. Next up, the chest opening animation changed. Kratos opens those with one hand and opens the extenders with two hands in the final game. In here, he opens all of them with two hands. Next up, we have the rolling with the blades and the forward evade got changed. And the demo is the same forward roll from God of War 1 and 2. In the final game, it got refined and changed a little and I like it. I like the final game more. Next up, we have the bow of Apollo. In the demo, it's way slower than what you can do with it <laughs> in the final game. And it left this blur behind the arrow, which looks horrible. They fixed it in the final game. Thank you. So I jumped down in usual fashion with the good old Hyperion Ram. And boy, was I having fun with this attack of the Nemean Cestus. It's like I'm about to cry for this attack. Why did they remove it? Anyways, I forgot. Here's the L1 and X with the Cestus in the air. Nothing crazy the same as the air trying. After clearing the enemies up, I was greeted with a centaur, and these enemies, they changed in the final game. Anyways, the centaur's rush QTE changed to the analog QTE in the final game, and the rest is the same. Moving on, I found something very interesting, and again, it got me sad that it didn't make it to the full game. The Nemean Cestus parry, and you even had two options, square to do this, and triangle to slam that. Why didn't this make it to the full game? I mean, it sucks, because the full game, it's only the golden fleece, even while facing these shield fuckers boys wish this one stayed honestly this and the evade attacks like oh god why did they remove them moving on we face my favorite enemy in all of god of war chimera this masterpiece of a flesh and cells organism was always perfect even in the demo nothing changed when compared to the final game god such a nice enemy and again i want to demonstrate how beautiful and useful this attack is i don't know why they went with this dumb attack in the final game i mean just look at this this is my first time using this move mind you and i was already experimenting with it Fuck, I hate what goes through game development sometimes. Moving on, after riding the harpies, we reach this encounter where in the full game, the enemies are different. And in here, in the demo, there is no explodable pods or whatever they call them. Maybe they still haven't thought about them here. Also, again, I know I'm boring you guys with this, but look at how beautiful this attack is. For the love of God. I'm honestly considering playing this demo over the full game. Okay, come on, this is ridiculous. I'm just kidding. All that I'm saying is that I love this move. Why didn't it make it to the full game? And good news, the bow of Apollo targets these destructible objects. Yay! In here, the final game threw in some new enemies with these guys. And here I was wondering why I couldn't speed up this chimmy process, until I realized you can dash with the right analog instead of the usual X button on the full game. So yeah, in the demo you dash with the right stick and not the usual X button. Here we reach Helios and I punch these guys with the shields that look different from what the full game gave us. Anyways, I punched them with the Cestus for fun and it broke instantly, but it was no problem. I waited for the Cyclops, but fuck all that. Let's get to the real business here, baby. The theme that plays here is one of my favorite God of War soundtracks ever! I love this theme, oh my god. It plays inside the Colossus of Rhodes in God of War 2. Why did they scrap this in the final product? God, I'm contemplating playing this demo over the full game. No, okay. Okay, I'm just kidding. Let's just stop this. It's so good. I love it. That's all that I'm trying to say. Anyways, after taking them all out, Helios is lying there ready to get QTE. Kind of reminds me of something else. Anyways, we do the deed instantly like no negotiation or anything at all. I love it. Classic Kratos, the ball of rage Kratos. These games are all button mashing simulators and Kratos has no story and nothing backing his revenge up. Fuck this. I love Norse. But no, they really haven't thought about it here. Any negotiation at all. Matter of fact, further easter egg for y'all. 
in the soundtrack Hades Anthem of the Dead in God of War 3 that plays in the river sticks, this is what the lyrics has to say. As in, they intended to make Kratos kill Helios first, then go to the underworld, which kinda explains what's going on here in the in this demo. At this point of the demo, Kratos still haven't made it to the underworld to face his punishment for killing Helios. Such a weird thing. That's why in the soundtrack, they, they like they're saying, he killed Helios, Hades, what you gonna do about it? And I honestly love game development for exactly these reasons. What happened while making this? Why they changed it and all that? God, I love game dev. Anyways, that's the only explanation I have for this soundtrack. And and Helios has pupils. Now this one is a big difference here. So you press L2 and Kratos holds Helios' head. Just holds him near his hips or whatever. Holding R1 flashes the way for Kratos. Kratos just usually holds it to see in front of him. In the full game, you equip it by pressing L2 and triangle and that's it. You simply press L2 and Kratos is flashing the way. Also in the demo, the item meter drains while flashing, while in the full game it only drains by attacking with the head. In the demo, you can blind and stop these enemies by flashing them. In the full game it happens only if you press triangle with the head equipped where Kratos does this and then they're blinded. Anyways, you move forward and boom, that's it, you start the flying session. In the full game, you go through a lot more than just this and face some pretty cool encounters and then you make it to the chain of balance and start the flying sequence. Speaking of the flying sequence, the flying is the same here, except the final product gave us the ability to dash to right and left. And finally, after we make it here to the top, Perseus tries to act funny, Kratos takes him down with the blades of Athena and not the blade of Olympus, like in the final product. And we get the God of War 3 screen and it's over, that's the demo for you you this perfect demo oh my god where do i start with it legit one of the best demos of a game of all time a lot of interesting stuff some cool stuff that got removed for god knows why and some other welcome changes that happened to the full game and with that we come to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it we're so close to 13,000 subscribers if you're a god of war fan be sure to subscribe because i make god of war content every day i might skip some days but however it's been your extreme gamer zesty peace